Disclaimer, the author does not claim ownership of the documents, images, audio, music, video and other materials used in this lesson. They remain the property of the original creators who are mentioned in the acknowledgement section of this lesson. The said materials are used for educational purposes only. Thank you very much. Setting up computer network, MELX, L01, install network cables, codes, TLE underscore IACSS 9-12 SUCN IBA J33. Module 1, plan cable routes in accordance with network design and actual installation site. Content standard, the learners demonstrate an understanding of concepts and principles in setting up computer networks. Performance standard, the learners shall be able to set up computer networks based on established procedures and system requirements for hardware. Module 1, plan cable routes in accordance with network design and actual installation site. Objectives, at the end of the lesson, at least 80% of the students will be able to, number 1. Identify the tools needed in cabling, number 2. Memorize the straight-through LAN and crossover cabling sequence, number 3. Prepare a straight-through and crossover LAN cabling. The tool used for configuring computer system, number 1. Crimping tool, a crimping tool is a tool designed to crimp or connect a connector to the end of a cable. Number 2. Wire stripper. A wire stripper is a tool designed to remove the protective covering, jacket, from a cable to expose the inner wires. Number 3. RG6 coax cable crimper. Crimp connections are used typically to fix connectors, such as BNC connectors, to coaxial cables quickly, as an alternative to soldered connections. Number 4. Cable tester, is a device that is used to test the strength and connectivity of a particular type of cable or other wired assemblies. Number 5. RJ45, or registered jack is an 8-wire connector used to connect computers on local area networks. Number 6. F connector, is a coaxial RF connector commonly used for, over-the-air, terrestrial television cable television and universally for satellite television in cable modems, usually with RG-6U cable or with RG-59U cable. Common Network Cables Number 1. Coaxial Cable is a device that is used to test the strength and connectivity of a particular type of cable or other wired assemblies. Number 2. Fiber Optic Cable an optical fiber is a glass or plastic conductor that transmits information using light. It has one or more optical fibers enclosed in a cover or jacket. This means that fiber optic cable can deliver signals that are clearer, and can go farther, without compromising the clarity of signals. Number 3. Twisted pair is a type of copper cabling that is used for telephone communications and most Ethernet networks. A pair of wires forms a circuit that transmits data. The pair is twisted to provide protection against crosstalk, the noise generated by adjacent pairs of wires in the cable. Number 1. Unshielded Twisted Pair, UTP, CAT5E, UTP is a cable that has two or four pairs of wires, it is the most commonly used cabling in networks, UTP cables have a range of 328 feet, 100 meters. Number 2. Shielded Twisted Pair or CAT6A, STP Each pair of wires is wrapped in metallic foil to better shield the wires from noise. Four pairs of wires are then wrapped in an overall metallic braid or foil. STP reduces electrical noise from within the cable. Crossover Cable or T568A Crossover cable is a type of cable installation that is used for the interconnection of two similar devices. Use crossover cables for the following cabling, switch to switch, switch to hub, hub to hub, router to router, router ethernet port to PC and IC, PC to PC. Straight through cable or T568B, a straight through cable is a type of twisted pair cable that is used in local area networks to connect a computer to a network hub such as a router. Use straight through ethernet cable for the following cabling, switch to router, 
switch to PC or server, hub to PC or server. How to make a network cable. Steps 1, unroll the required length of network cable and add a little extra wire, just in case. Steps 2, carefully remove the outer jacket of the cable. Cut into the plastic cover 1 inch from the end of the cut cable. Steps 3, inspect the newly revealed wires for any cuts or scrapes that expose the copper wire inside. Steps 4, unwind and pair the similar colors. Untwist the pairs so they will lay flat between your fingers. Step 5, squeeze the wires between your fingers and straighten them out as shown. Arrange the wires based on the wiring specifications you are following. Step 6, press all the wires flat and parallel between your thumb and forefinger. Use wire cutter to make a straight cut across the wires half an inch from the cut sleeve to the end of the wires. Step 7, keep the wires flat and in order as you push them into the RJ45 plug with the flat surface of the plug on top. Step 8, take view from the top. Make sure the wires are all the way in. There should be no short wires. Place the wired plug into the crimping tool. Step 9. For a standard, straight-through, cable, repeat all steps in wire color order on the other end of cable. For a crossover cable, the other end will have a different color. Step 10. Test the cable to ensure that it will function in the field. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon. And also don't forget to like, comment and share. See you next time. Keep safe and God bless.